all see what is happening on my head right now? As much as I keep trying to stay to my regimen of washing my hair, I've fallen behind. Life has some hands lately, but I'm trying to fix that. So before I get in the shower to wash my hair, I do this step first, which is applying the shampoo to my scalp. And it, it works great because I'm trying to make sure I'm thorough. All right, y'all, checking back in. Now that I've washed my hair, it's actually been a few hours. I've had to run some errands. I am sweating, even though I'm back inside the house. Um, but I wanted to record this while I still had some natural lighting. But it's hot. Like, it is hot. Okay, today is July 27th, 2023. So I'm going to try and get this out before August 1st. Now, as you saw, my hair was looking pretty rough. And I want to jump into why I lost four locks and what I'm doing about that situation. I've not been able to keep up with my maintenance. My locks falling out has nothing to do with my color. Um, my hair is actually pretty healthy for, you know, bleached locks. And if you don't believe me, I went and had a sister lock consultation today for a new consultant. Since I moved a year ago, I have not gotten a new consultant. I am not consistent with my retights. And that's how my hair just started snapping off. And it started snapping off in the back, in the nape area. I'll sit here and I'll start my retightening and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start in the back because I know once I start in the front, you know, I may get busy and I'm just like, okay, but at least I looked groomed in the front. You can do that with traditional locks, thicker locks, but with sister locks, you can't do that. Because at the end of the day, that new growth gets heavier and heavier and the lock will just snap. So like right now, I have a good amount of new growth in the back that you can see. And I was just like, you know what? Something has to give. I have to have some non-negotiables. I'm a mom now. As you guys know, I have a special needs four-year-old. There's a lot of transitioning things that happen, but what about my mental health? Because I can't pour from an empty cup. So I've decided that I need to make it a non-negotiable to get my hair done or at least have a consultant so that I can go to someone um, consistently. So I have an appointment scheduled for August 1st and I went to my consultation today. She said that I've been doing a really good job with my hair and it's not as bad as I made it seem. Cause I did tell her I had a quadrant in the back that I had never finished. And here it is time for me to do another retightening. And I've never finished the one in the back. And that's my biggest problem. I am not able to do this in enough time. I do still have those locks that I did lose. Um, I'll bring them to the appointment just in case. Uh, I feel like I'm going to let her do what she needs to do if she can tell where they came from, okay. But I'm pretty much guessing that the hair does need to grow back in that area because I can attach it myself. I was contemplating attaching it in the front when it was just two locks. How can I help you? Matthew? What? Hi. Yeah. Can you say hi. hi? No, no. Can you say hi? Hi. Tell them your name. What's your name? Kai. What's your name? What's your name? Matthew. Matthew, good job. It's been a chaotic day, but I got my hair done today. This isn't the best lighting because I am at work right now. But y'all, and I have some dandruff but y'all i have a new consultant let the church say amen so i'm definitely feeling like doing some styles especially a style that ain't gonna last long because i already feel like i need to wash my hair and i'm just happy 
keep in mind, don't be like me. You see, I have this robe on right now. I need to put my hair either in a bonnet or something because of the lint that is on my robe. But y'all, I have a consultant. It's been so long. Because truth is, I was tired. And she is in a salon, which was different for me. I've not been in a salon since 2007. How many years ago was that? 2007. 16 years. I have not been in a salon in 16 years. And I was definitely nervous about that because of the whole salon experience I've had was back when I was getting a relaxer. So yeah, I can't stop touching it. It feels so good.